Hello YouTube, this is Doom Guardian and um or 007 Sonic. And I'm going to be showing you how to um mod rage, finally. Um what you're gonna need is uh you're gonna need Horizon. You're gonna need uh let me let me just get out of stuff. Alright, if you go to 360 Haven, 360 Haven and you type in rage and then in the search bar space oscar and then you press search you will find and uh, rage checksum fixer you want to go to that and um, <coughs> there is a file in here you will need it's um, the one that says binaries and full source here go to that and it should open that up, yeah. And that's what you need. And um, credit goes to Dorcas Rex. And if you type in Rage Dorcas Rex in the search bar, um, you should find Rage Save Editing Figured Out. Started by Dorcas Rex, and he actually figured out how to get the this to actually work to where the mod will stick instead of sort of disappearing or saying that your save is corrupted but yes he's a big help and um and Oscar 193 he's the one who made this checksum fixer which you will need in order to get this to work but now that you got all that um you want to open up horizon put in your flash card, hard drive, whatever you want to call it, and you want to uh, extract your autosave. You do not, don't extract, or actually don't even extract it, don't even extract anything, I did the wrong freaking thing, sorry about that. You want to double click autosave, don't click any of the other saves because they don't work at all. Then you want to go to contents, and um, this is what you want to extract. You want to extract ray or inventory dot rage file. Save it to your desktop or wherever you're gonna put it. I'm gonna save mine to the desk a desktop freaking. Anyways, um, and after you've done that, it should be here. What you want to do now is you want to open up Command Prompt. And the way I get to it, I mean, you can go to Start and then type in CMD. And uh, this right here, CMD, that's command prop. Or if you want to do it quicker, you can hold down. If you're on Win, if you're on a Windows computer, you can hold down the Windows button and then press R, and Run should show up. And then just type in CMD and press OK, and it'll run command prompt for you. And then you want to um, with the checksum fixer you download it. You want to drag that into command prompt right here, and you should see it show up. Then what you want to do is you want to press space and then leave that like it is for now. Don't forget to press space or else it might not work. But um, what you want to do now that you have your rage.inventory.rage file, um, you need Hex Workshop too. Here, let me show you. Um, <coughs> you want to Google Hex Workshop and. Uh, I'll let you figure out how to get that. Um, actually, right now I'm gonna need to know hex or nine 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 and hex real quick. I hit two seven zero. All right. Um, but what you want to do is after you get hex workshop, um, right click this and then hex work or hex edit with hex workshop. And your hex workshop might uh, might not look like mine. Mine's like an older version. Um. Yeah, mine's a way older version. Oh crap, oops. Uh, continue. Alright, then what you want to do is you're going to see this up here, this little binoculars. If you hover over it, it'll say fine. Press that, then um, screw the hex values. It's way easier if you just type in the uh, word for word. Um, so, say you want to find and edit something in here like your inventory slash currency slash. Hold on a second. 
And if you look at Oscars thingy, or not even Oscars, hold on a second. Uh, flipping crap. Um, I think it's currency underscore unit for your money. I do that. I'm press type in currency underscore unit, and it should show up. Yep, yep, that was it. Um, you're gonna find this, and your money's gonna be these first four, these first four values, and then there's gonna be a whole bunch of, like, there's gonna be these Fs. All you wanna change, since you're in the, like, the highest amount of money you can have is only 9999 or 9999, all you wanna do is, you wanna type in, um, that's why I looked this up in hex. I'm gonna type in 270F for that. I'm gonna switch these up. 270F. And, um, yeah, that was it. You can save this. And mine automatically makes a backup. But, um, if you want to, you can look up, like, you can just look through here and find a whole bunch of your items in your inventory. And you can change the amount for those. To say I type in um inventory freaking inventory uh ingredients I think it's ingredient ingredients slash uh explosive pack I think that's the name of it. I don't know if I found it or not. Probably didn't find it. But, um, you can just sit there and play around with it and find stuff in your inventory. Change that to whatever amount you want, and that's another thing you can change. And I think it's possible to change your jump height and sprint. I'm not gonna go through all that, because that's probably gonna take a while. But, um, after you're done messing with your money, I'm gonna close out of that. You want to um, go back into your command prompt and make sure that space is in between that, because this will not work if it doesn't have the space in between that. So after you do that, you want to take your inventory dot rage, not your backup, the one that says dot rage, and you want to drag this into here, and then you want to press enter. Oh crap! Not a, no, you want to click on this. Make sure that's selected. Then press on here, and it'll say check some fixed, and you're good. Now all you have to do is go back into Horizon, and this is taking forever. Okay, hold on. Um, you want to right click. Or actually, yeah. Make sure your Rage game auto save thing is loaded up. You want to right click inventory, replace, and. Find your inventory dot rage, replace that. It'll say successfully replace. Uh, click save rehash and resign. Save rehashed and resigned and you're good. And um yeah, that was it. Also, um there's this thing where if you log in or no, you, I think you might have to make an account for this. But if you do make an account, I think it's gonna like there's gonna be something that says refer. Don't forget you um you should refer me as a referrer or whoever you want to refer to your referrer. But yeah, it's my account. That'd be cool. And um thanks. I hope this uh, helped all of you out who find this to be very confusing because it's very long, it takes a while. But um yeah, hope this helped.